this is Meet the Family Part is it nine? Yeah. Part nine. This is Izella. <laughs> Izella is a unique um, uh, in a couple different ways. She was premature and there were some complications at birth and she was in the NICU for a couple months and she has cerebral palsy and she has epilepsy and um, one of the um, things with cerebral palsy is that uh, everyone's they're all different you know and some people with, with it can walk some can't so uh, she just has it's basically brain damage that occurred at birth actually with her we we think it happened in the womb and um, anyways long story short she's been that way since birth and she can't walk at all uh, we did have her in physical therapy occupational th we did everything uh, she did not enjoy it and it did not really do her a tremendous amount of good um, so uh, long story short her going around a physical therapy and occupational therapy was a burden on her and taken away from the uh, quality of her life instead of adding to it and uh, we're not opposed to those things at all but for her instance um, people think well they'll say something like um, it's okay to be you and be comfortable with who you are and then in the next breath they turn around and say but we need to make you normal normal and they will uh, impose upon other folks not in a bad way they just don't realize they're doing it they will say well she would be happier this is what they think if she could walk well no doubt about that but then how how miserable are you going to make her life trying to make her walk or trying to make her do what you think would make her happy and she has no desire to walk uh, she considers her scooting walking she um, has never known how to walk I, I would be confident in saying nobody no matter how miserable you make her life and force her could accomplish her walking uh, to any extent it's just that's the way her cerebral palsy is manifested so we got to the point where we were tired of um, acting like Izella was so broken that we needed to fix her by making her life miserable by trying to make her walk and she does what she does and she's happy she's very happy she is a challenge she has um, at, at times but it's just what we are so you'll see I, I still pick her up and carry her around uh, she's about 115 pounds I think and um, it's all technique but uh, we move her about in the house uh, so we, we, it's a bit of a challenge to, to do that, but it's just our lifestyle. Um, when I pick her up, I am very, I'm very gentle with her. Uh, even when I, at times if I have to carry her very far, I might kind of heap her up a little bit more on my shoulder. But even that, you know, you never heap her up to where her belly hits hard on your shoulder. It's just uh, all technique and knowing what you're doing. And uh, I just shuttle her around that way. Uh, we keep her involved in the farm uh, as much as possible, uh, outside as much as possible. And she's certainly a big part of the family. Uh, sometimes our family actually revolves around her. She absolutely hates to uh, ha be the center of attention. She cannot hack it. So one of the things with Izella, uh, in addition to not being able to walk, um, and, and, um, she, she, uh, and some of the stuff that goes along with that, um, she can't process emotions. So if she's very happy or if she's, um, nervous or uh, it just, she can't, it, emotions don't come out. So we, I'm of the opinion that tears are uh, emotions that can't be expressed. So we all have that at, at some point point in time it seems emotions that just can't be expressed well she's not good at expressing emotions so she has a lot of tears just in the point that um, 
this, she doesn't know what else to do. So if somebody that she doesn't know comes in and she's nervous, she, it, 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 she doesn't know how to deal with it. Even if she's happy, she doesn't know how to deal with it. So even when her family here, us, she knows us very well. She loves us. She interacts with us great. We uh, have to be secret about, you know, trying to get her on camera. So Abby's been around trying to compile footage of her being normal because as soon as, soon as you, she knows that she's on camera, she really is stage fright. It's, uh, and she, and it won't be long before she's, and she'll just break down and really break down. So she cannot be the center of attention. Uh, she cannot really see herself on video. So Abby's had to work hard to get secret footage. Because the moment she knows that she's being recorded, and she collapses. The moment she knows she's a center. Doctor's appointments are tough. She knows she's a center of attention. She's already at peak emotional output. And then she doesn't know what's going to happen because she's been life flighted. She's been the center of a lot of... She's spent weeks in the hospital and stuff. So doctors uh, make her nervous anyways. And... Um, so that's a challenge, but if that if she wasn't nervous, just being a center of attention just gives her issues. Um, she has issues with uh, strangers, but you know she's not terrible. And then she has some issues with animals. Uh, she she is on the ground. Um, her world is is two foot and down because she she's she likes that. So, she hates her wheelchair. Uh, she she doesn't want the wheelchair. We have to be very careful to use that wheelchair as a almost a novelty to when we really have to have it that she'll be willing to go in it. And uh, we try to respect her in that way. So, um, when she's in the this this world down, animals, cats, dogs, terrify her. They terrify her. We've actually had to make a tremendous effort to even get her to tolerate chickens. So she has some love towards chicks and chickens. She's still, you'll, she'll give them a side eye and, and be nervous. But, you know, that's something we've worked with her, that she has a little bit of an adoration for chickens. She will watch kittens on TV uh, and babies on TV, but... Things on her level that she can't control is nerve-wracking to her. So that's kind of Isella. And um, she's smart, though. So just, she's smart. She, she's clever. She's witty. She's joyful. She's happy. And uh, she's happy. And I would rather her be happy and not walking than to not walking uh, or then walking just to appease everybody else, uh, even if it makes her life miserable to appease everybody else. So she's happy, and uh, we're all happy. Um, what? Oh, so she's smart. She's witty, but she's smart. She doesn't have academics down, so she's actually like she does some school with the seven-year-olds, and but she knows her numbers. She knows her alphabets. She recognizes pictures. She has excellent hearing. Her vision's a little weak, but she, she's not stupid. Uh, she's definitely mentally challenged in some academic areas, but she converses with us. She knows what's going on. She knows she's on camera because she can look at this camera, like Abby's pointing at me, there's a red light blinking. She knows when the red light blinking, she's being recorded. <laughs> but when it's not, it's playtime. So she's smart. She has her own camera. She loves to blog, but it's just pretending. So she goes around with her in a snowed camcorder, and she'll just have she she does excellent interviews, unless she knows it's live, it's real. Then she freaks out; she can't hack it. But she has such a great personality. If you can just secretly capture it, we enjoy her. She enjoys life, and uh, she's happy. So Abby's gonna show you some of the put together footage here, and let you let you see Isella. The master fisherwoman. This is quite the perfect interview. Catch any fish today, Zola?
Did you catch any fish today? Crawfish. Okay. Was it very big? No. It wasn't? I got some dinosaurs. You're reeling that thing in, looking like you got one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Tell them what we're doing. What? Decorating cookies. So we got this pen. I'm ready. And we got another pen over there that we're gonna line with pipes. Hello guys, now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do a lot every signing. Wait, I wanna see you lining them with pipes. Good. Good. How did these look? Okay, I actually have those. I love these eating dogs. Hi Zella, you gotta stop eating it now. This one looks bad. Yeah, hey, I told you. I just got that eating cookie though. Today we are making cookies. The cookies are like, ah. What you doing, Zell? Decorating cookies. What are you decorating? Cookies. <laughs> what cookie are you decorating? An angel. Nice. Hi guys, today we are making cookies. How's it going? Decorating cookies. Good. What's the look that you're going for here? United States of America. <laughs> nice. You concentrated? Yes. Good job. I'm done! Oh, are you planning on topping that off with sprinkles? Yes. Wait, it comes out really fast. Shake it up. Okay, that's good. That's good. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Good job. That one's decorated. Now I want to decorate. I know you like it. Now we're going to do another interview. Okay, interview me. Hey. You want to go, I want to go up front and show them um, where we do stuff. You want me to take you up front and we can show them up there? Yeah. Hop up on the bed. There we go. First, we do this. Right? And then, we do this. Right? Hang on. And, oh, she knows. There we go. Time for schoolwork. Today I am watching Tyson and Tyson and I am gonna record some stuff and joy. <laughs> what are you watching? Tyson Family Farm. Which video? The weather video. Our, the video where our cousins came up. It's all his all time favorite video. There you go. Here. Let me put it on the front. Can you see yourself? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, point it at yourself. So I am watching Todd Family Farm and Old Time Classic. So Abby is going to have to edit this. Should we vlog a little bit? Okay, uh, Daddy and Isella, and um, Isella, she, she can't walk, but she can drive. So uh, she going, we're gonna go down here and we got a waterway to see. So that's what we're doing. So we'll just stick this right here. And Isella, you got anything to say? I'm driving. <laughs> You're driving, yep, okay. Ooh, whoa, you're already turning too much. Whoa, okay. How old are you, Zell? Ten. And how old are you going to be in November? Eleven. That's right. Okay. Whoa, we better turn it this way. There's a house. And we are going through the yard. You're cutting through the yard. That's okay. Okay. Now, put her in drive. 
Ready? Turn. Don't go through the yard. Turn. Turn. Turn again. Keep turning. You're going to use your right hand at all? There. Nice. Nice. Turn. I'll help you a little bit. Nice. Okay. Tell us what we're going to do today. I, I'm good. We're going to go check the waterway. Go check the waterway. That sounds good. Watch out. Don't run over the auger. The auger's right there. Nope, you got it. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. Turn down the hill. Nice. Nice. Straighten up. Ooh, nice. Good work. Go right down the road now. Turn my way. Good. Straighten up. Straighten up. Don't keep turning. Turn your way a little bit. Ooh, that's all Zell. Right on the road. Oh, you're getting off. You're getting off. There. Oh, oh yep, we're off. Turn my way a little bit. A little bit more. Now back your way. Correct it. Back your way. Back your way. Back your way, Zell. Now look at you. Where? Whoa! What are we doing? This is a cornfield. Oh, good job. There we go. You're getting corrected. Get her back over there. Nice. Nice. Okay, we'll tune in with you when we get to the waterway. This might take a while, but she'll get there. We're here, so Izella's going to do the blogging. Tell us. So I have made it to the... The waterway. Okay, she's turning the camera around. And show them the... There's bare dirt out there that we put in that's got to be seeded. Anything else you tell us? So I'm just currently editing a video and it's one that I did yesterday. You need to talk clearly. She said she was editing a video of one she did yesterday. So uh, do, you, do you like doing t videos? Yeah. Okay. And is there anything else we need to tell people? Um, I have found an outfit for my video. She's filmed a bunch for her video. Okay. I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. You gonna say I love you? I love you. I love you. Thanks. Okay. Tell them like and subscribe and stuff. Like and subscribe. See you next time. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.